another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me starts now. I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Stegner. The host of Epcon, which you need to go to. It's going to be happening on the 15th, the first day. Coming up next week. Well, by the time this by airs, time you might see over. It depends yeah. on when we upload it. Yeah, it depends <laughs> on when you're going to see us. No. In uh, which case, it, God, it, it was awesome. If you went, <laughs> it was so great seeing you. So many faces out there. I can't believe you showed up dressed up like that. We're time traveling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you haven't seen, if you haven't been yet, if this goes up before, God, this is going to be a good event. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a bit. However, we have another really cool, this this whole series, this section, by the way, if you've seen uh, the past segments that were uploaded here, uh, we've been very comic book heavy so far. Back to we, our roots. I know, which is really, really cool. So this one, you got to take the lead on this too, man. When you told me about this, I was yeah, flabbergasted. Yeah. I was godsmacked. Talking about uh, Dead No More. Dead take No it, More. Take it, take it, man. I was going to start with Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Mm. Uh, they they kind of released, they have a wraparound cover, and they've released different uh, pictures of it. Okay. Uh, they're bringing, there's a mysterious man in red, and okay. uh, he is promising different Spider-Man villains uh, to bring their loved ones back okay. to life if they do his bidding, which mm. is basically kill Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, on the cover, the man in red, if you look real close, to, he's wearing an Anubis head, you know, the, the Egyptian god Anubis. Mm -hmm. And uh, since he's bringing people back, this is my speculation. Anubis was known as the Golden Jackal in Egypt. Okay. Okay. The Jackal? Yeah. Cloning people? Oh, oh the Jackal. Oh, no. You heard it here first. No. We're You're saying, predicting the Jackal, the dude that was yeah. responsible for the clone saga how from Spider-Man? How else can he bring dead the, people back? The biggest F-up, the biggest F-up that almost, that nearly killed Spider-Man, that nearly Decimated the popularity that the hero now is enjoying. It also gave you the Scarlet Spider. Oh, come on! Ben Riley. <laughs> but that, that's on. my that's my speculation. They they uh, have not said that. Uh, anyway, he's like to going to this. Rhino. You know, saying, "Hey, I can, here's your wife. If you like the keeper, you need to do my bidding." Yeah. The big thing is, Doc Ock. Doctor Octopus. Oh, his wife died. No, he brought Doc Ock back because Doc yeah. Ock is supposedly sure his body's dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His mind is in the living brain. Okay, so his, well, his digital okay. brain is in there. So they're gonna bring man. Doc Ock's had it rough, man. His yeah. wife died. <laughs> he died, right? He, died. he became Superior Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. And then he got pulled out into the living brain. Okay. And he's prominently on the cover with all his tentacles. So. And I, certain people, yeah, Spider-Man in his grasp. So certain people are being offered certain things, loved being, ones, loved ones being brought back from the dead, if they are able to kill the wall crawler. Yeah, they are able to kill Spider-Man. Rhino, Lizard, Electro. Okay, so like with the lizard, uh, what uh, did this figure say? You're gonna get your arm back. <laughs> You're gonna be able to. We yeah. will replace your jaw. The Superior Spider-Man <laughs> yeah. knocked off. Yeah, uh, Electro. Um, we will make sure that the Jamie Foxx character never existed. Uh, we will make sure that never happened. We, we don't speak of that movie <laughs> in the mechanical God. rhino. Well, um, well, it sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Just, uh, and Spider-Man has a pretty big rogues gallery, mm -hmm. so it's pretty endless how many people they can bring back. The last time I was this interested in Spider-Man, and it sounds... This reminds me of the Gauntlet. It reminds me of the Gauntlet series where yeah. Spidey just went after one villain after another. Just after made his, another. made his list and started checking it off. After another. If you haven't uh, read the Gauntlet, oh, that is a, a massive run where it came out, what, every week? Every mm -hmm. something like that where we had a different uh, writer, different artist just to keep up with the run. So this kind of reminds me of that because you have, you mentioned his, your, yourself, his rogues gallery is yeah. very big. He has one of the most impressive rogues gallery. And we, again, we also talked about this. The cool thing is about Marvel's rogues gallery, Marvel's rogue, am I saying that right? Rogues, rogues gallery. Not rogue, but the, the rogues, rogues gallery. gallery. Okay. Their list of villains. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel's rogues gallery is that their villains can be shared across the board. I you'll see, right, yeah. yeah, you'll see a uh, Spider-Man villain end up in uh, Fantastic Four. You'll see a Daredevil villain end up in Spider-Man, and vice versa. You, you'll see that quite a bit. That's one of the reasons that made 
the Marvel U so popular because it, they all worked as a cohesive unit in the comic realm, not the movie realm, because right. it's all effed up right now. Legalities. But, right. So we're going to see all these villains band together and try and take him down. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, I think Dan Slott is writing this. Okay. And if you think anything about modern Spider-Man, that's the name yeah. that pops right up is Dan Slott. Dan Slott's the man. Okay. Uh, I, think, I believe he was one responsible for Superior Spider-Man. Mm. Uh, that was one of my favorite Spider-Man. I wish they would have continued it on. Doc Ock is Peter Parker. Yeah. Did so much that Peter couldn't do. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I got a P. Yeah. Oh, I got your PhD got for your you. PhD. I got you a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> right. Oh, hey, I fixed Aunt May's legs too. <laughs> oh yeah, I run the country. Jay Jonah answers to me. <laughs> And uh, and then Peter, oh, but I want my life back. <laughs> and you'll see, uh, yeah, you'll see that uh, really Peter's company. As we go off on a tangent here, it's worth it. You'll see Peter's company uh, in Spider-Man 2099. You see a lot of that Spider-Man, the CEO, the businessman with Miguel O'Hara. Anyway, anyway, all right. Notice okay. though, notice though that uh, now that Marvel has Spider-Man back, that they're willing to share uh, and play nice. With yeah, the Avengers, they're sharing. I don't. They don't have him back. Right. With the Avengers, okay. But they're sharing. Notice that you uh, saw him on Civil War. Saw him Civil War trailer. Notice now that uh, Marvel, the comic book company. Notice now that they're really trying to to push this, this big old story arc, this big old story run. The good thing is, it, it's starting with Free Comic Book Day. Mm -hmm. So you can come in and get the free one. And when is Free See, Comic Book Day? May 7th. Mm. Always the first Saturday in May. And that's coming up. Uh, yeah, so you can come and grab that free comic book, mm. determine whether you think you're going to like it or not. Mm. You haven't spent a penny. You had to wait in a line, yeah. maybe. That's the most. But uh, yeah. A lot of people show up, though, for free comic book day, man. Just for the free comics, too, of course, as well as they should. So if you want to show up to Zia, Zia Comics. We'll have a couple artists inside, also. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we're working on getting some. Big things outside, like maybe Good. the food trucks, things like that. Cosplay girls? We're still working on that. The, Mer the Mandalorian Mercs, of course, will be here. The cosplay girls, they're in El Paso, and they usually go to the El Paso stores. We're going to edit that out. The owner of <laughs> Epcon. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. They don't like to drive an hour up. <clears throat> maybe I should pick them up. I'm sh Would they make it here? What time do you need them? What time do you <laughs> Some need them? Sometime before we close. <laughs> what time do you How need How long them? do you need? <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, leave it <clears> in. Back, back to the G-rated. Back to the G-rated series. Yeah. Sort uh, of. Like I said, they're bringing back uh, so all these villains. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, he's even the ones who pretty much given up being a villain. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Just somebody can give you your wife or your kid back you're going to probably do what he wants wow. because you don't I mean, that's it wow. to get that loved one back what would you what do what would you do and, and this this goes out to you i mean everybody's lost somebody near and dear would you go to great lengths to get back a loved one would you what would you do what i'd would find spider-man to get my dog back my I'd. Dog. oh my gosh when i was a kid so yeah, I loved one of them more than that. I'm, all right, I'm all right. Sure I, You're going down, right. Peter. Yeah. Last I'm getting lucky back. back. <laughs> Was that your dog's name? <laughs> no, I just made that. Okay. Up. <laughs> all right, check it out. Pick it up. Definitely. And, and uh, it's it's well worth it. Uh, we're, we're calling it right now. You're calling who? The Jackal. I I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say there's too many clues pointing to the Jackal. Mm, ballsy move. All right. I've been wrong before, and I'll be wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it again. Another edition of Talk Nerdy. To me, pick up Spider-Man Dead No More. That'll do it. I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Stegner. Good night. Hey, Sleep listen. tight. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what